All right. Uh, the bottom line is um, everybody's been exposed to some information about yes. this case. The question is not have you been exposed, it's can you take what information you may have learned from the media, which may or may not be accurate, and put it aside and decide this case just on the evidence you hear in this courtroom. And I know you expressed some concerns about being able to do that. And I'll tell you what I tell all the other jurors, which is, if that's your honest opinion, that you can't put it aside, uh, can't unring the bell, so to speak, yeah, perfectly I, legitimate position if it's an honest one. So what do you think? I, I think it's going to be really extremely hard. I, I work um, at a school with BIPOC faculty and students, uh, and we're working with DEI and justice work on a daily basis. It's, it's, a, it's a huge part of who I am and what I think about on a day-to-day -day basis. I've heard incredible testimonies from my um, colleagues and, and students about um, the way they've been treated, about not only, not only by police, but giant institutions. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm in the middle of it. I'm doing it every day. This is my work. And so, I, what, what can I say? I, I, okay. I, yeah. Go ahead. I, I, of course, I'm, a, I'm an educator, so I can, I can listen, and, and I'm not going to purposely do anything, you know, to break the law or perjure myself or anything. I'm not looking to do that, but, yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'd be a horrible candidate, I think, because of what I do. I couldn't go back to work and, and look at my colleagues and students, I don't think, after this, no matter what happens, and, and feel like my life hasn't been changed somehow permanently. I, I also want to go, I want to let you know that on my way in, um, I was asked for my ID by a police officer and he held it up in front of his iPad and looked at both sides. So my name has been compromised in my opinion and okay. I, I'm extremely unsettled about it. I, I can't even stop shaking. Okay. Um, well, I can tell you the reason why they did that is to make sure that nobody passed their letter with the number because we are very concerned about you know, your privacy. Well, that, yeah, a police officer looked at my my ID and knows my name, and that's a big problem for me. It is, understood. It's, it's a very significant detail, considering that the case is against another police officer. All right, uh, fair point. Let me just ask you straight out. Do you think you could presume the defendant innocent? <laughs> and not try, but actually could? No. I, I'm, okay. I'm almost sick to my stomach right now. Okay. Well, you know what, I'm going to alleviate that because I'm going to excuse you from this I appreciate panel. appreciate it. And so if you could give the paperwork to the deputy on your way out. But thank you for being open and honest with us about yeah. your feelings. So, All right, thank you.